Hello beekeepers, for those who haven't met me, my name is John and today I'll be performing a scientific experiment. It's actually more a scientific demonstration. It's called exploding foam or elephant's toothpaste. Uh, some of you have probably seen it before, but for those who haven't, at the end you'll hopefully understand why it's called uh, elephant's toothpaste. Now this uh, demonstration is a reaction between Ingredients. Some ingredients, when you place them together, don't react, and some do react. So you've probably um, had a spider before where you have ice cream in a glass and you tip lemonade in and it'll fizz up. Well, that's a reaction. Today I'll be using hydrogen peroxide. The hydrogen peroxide I've been able to get hold of is 30%, so it's 10 times stronger um, than what you'd normally buy. So I'm going to put my lab coat on. Uh, I work in a laboratory, or a lab for short, and uh, we wear these coats, which are made of strong, tough material to protect our clothes and bodies. This 30% can burn your skin, give you a chemical burn, and if you get it in your eyes, it um, can cause quite serious damage. And once you damage your eyes, usually it's irreversible, so we don't want to do that. So I'll put on that. Um, some gloves as well so I don't burn my skin. I'll be wearing goggles as well to protect my eyes. And hydrogen peroxide is very similar to water. Uh, it is H2O2 so it's got two hydrogen atoms like water but it's got two oxygen atoms instead of one. So while it's sitting here it's actually reacting with the air and the sun and the extra oxygen atom is coming off as an oxygen gas. As scientists, that'll take hours and hours for all the extra oxygen to react and then we'll be left with just water, H2O, one oxygen atom. As scientists discovered that we can use a catalyst or an activator to quicken that reaction or make it happen inst uh, instantly. So if I put some catalyst in there, you'll see the reaction happened straight away and that's the oxygen, extra oxygen uh, atom coming off. Some of it's trapped in the water causing foam. Now in these flasks I have uh, hydrogen peroxide. I hope I didn't put too much in there. So I'm going to um, put in some soap which will help when the oxygen reacts and it's released. The soap will help trap the um, oxygen gas and uh, create foam. And I'm going to put some colour in rather than have just white foam. Um, it's probably nicer to have a colourful foam. So I've got pink and green. So in goes some colour. At this stage, I'll need an assistant. Who do we have out there? Oh, Rainu's here. Rainu, can you come in and help us? Hi, Rainu. Hi, John. Hey, B kids. So. Rainer will have an activator there and one here. B kids, are you excited? Yes, John, I'm Rainer, excited. Rainer, you're excited. I'm excited. You're not nervous. I'm a little bit nervous, but I've got my safety glasses, my gloves, my yeah. lab coat. We'll be good. You can trust me. I trust you, John. <laughs> Rainer, can you run fast? Oh, um, semi fast. Okay, this is serious. B kids, countdown with us. I've better put my goggles on. Oh, yep. Yeah. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. See a bit of steam uh, coming off there. It does generate a bit of heat. <laughs> oh, it's still going. Oh, it's still going. Look at that one go. Some experiments are okay to do on your own. Uh, this one, because we've got the hydrogen peroxide, which can damage your eyes, you need adult supervision to do this experiment. Well, I hope you liked today's uh, scientific demonstration. Bee Kids, we miss you so much. We, uh, you're very special to us.
and we look forward to seeing you in person hopefully soon. Bye for now.